so we we have uh, seen about second order system and the response is uh, for uh, uh, this fact uh, as a fact as a function of this zeta uh, this uh, for under damped behavior this have, uh, the response has oscillations and these are all quite useful uh, to study the overall or is closed loop response and uh, that we are going to see from today onwards class today's class onwards and uh, we also seen uh, this dynamics of manometer na pesad kekkala pa am i audible one response yes sir ah sir okay because i am using two devices so sometimes it's not great okay this uh, manometer is a nice example for uh, what is it incurrently dynamic uh, incurrently second order process or is incurrent uh, incurrent second order process are coming uh, whenever there is a uh, a force balance coming into play uh, the nice example is manometer and we also discussed this aspect in the last class and uh, at the last as a last aspect we have discussed about dead time that we'll uh, start from now so dead time is uh, coming whenever uh, you have a uh, this uh, measurement lag say instead of uh, say for example the diagram instead of taking the measurement in the tank or at the tank outlet if you uh, delay the measurement after about a uh, distance uh, you will see uh, delay in the measurement by the amount tau d which is uh, actually uh, equal to this distance by velocity you know that much uh, that much of time is delayed you know the response is uh, uh, the or is the response of this t measured at this end uh, will be lacking by amount of tau d so this tau d is uh, equal to this distance by velocity of course uh, this tau d can also be used or we say this uh, what is called as a dead time can also be used to model some processes which have dead time or is they won't uh, immediately respond instead they will respond after a, 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 a few uh, time uh, intervals so what is called as tau d uh, so there is uh, for this process this uh, time in the time domain this is uh, x of t is the input and y of t is equal to x of t minus tau d so the response is delayed with amount tau d okay to uh, quickly you can uh, log into lms uh, and uh, there is a top link at the top huh? you can uh, i will show you the link also uh, to uh, take the advantage of this uh, easiest way i found uh, in the top uh, first link no very first link you can click on that it will be uh, available now yeah like really the people have started doing that good Uh, you can respond to that and it's very uh, simple question and uh, already this question was already asked another about 2 3 minutes i'll give and i'll stop that uh, quiz and just to take attendance no? it's a easiest way and you will also feel uh, interesting so those who are joining the class uh, log into lm uh, lms page and the very first link at the top you click on that and and uh, do that exercise very simple question only uh, three questions are there uh, at least don't uh, uh, consult with your people and please answer uh, whatever you know yeah, of course the mark i won't uh, uh, take it take it this is simply for recording attendance about uh, 26 students are supposed to be available only 14 response i could see so far people uh, uh, those who are joining the class please uh, like into the lms and or is i will type in the chat as well okay uh, so those who have uh, done with that exercise uh, they can uh, continue to the discussion so this dead time system the dead time system uh, or is this dead time concept is a very nice thing uh, to uh, model higher order system 
so for this x of t uh, and uh, y of t connected by this way you know y of t is x of t minus tau d so that is the information at uh, at the uh, at this outlet is delayed by the amount of uh, is delayed by the time of tau d nothing great here so the for this the laplace transform is y of s uh, by x of s that is the laplace transform of output by input another about 2 minutes only i have uh, i will even close the quiz also about 18 students good so two more minutes and uh, Uh, but no, I should not track. I should not give that much time. I should stop. So I'll uh, stop the quiz now and uh, going to the. I'll stop this by. How to do that? Stop. Uh, yeah, I'll override. Ah, uh, so the timing. I'm uh, stopping now. So this is. Eleven eight. I already over now. So the quiz will be over now. I should. I it's over now. Only about twenty-seven people, twenty-six uh, people have responded. So these people uh, have. Uh, I suppose the quiz is over now. Mudi chile ya? Okay. Uh, you can uh, back to. Uh, you can come to the class back. Uh, come to the Zoom uh, login again. Well, but the quiz mudi chile. Quiz the time is over. I have stopped the quiz and it won't be available. So total of five mark only about uh, two mark I can get average. So this is a nice uh, thing. So uh, it indicates that no, no, I remember you know, tell you all the subject. Though these were covered in the test one, and many of you scored uh, even hundred percentage out of the test for the test, still uh, this is the response I am getting. Okay, uh, no, no, not to worry much about this. Let us go to the class. Okay, uh, this uh, uh, back to the class. Please uh, come to the class back. Another about uh, two three uh, five minutes we'll spend on this dead time, and we'll go to the closed loop. That is an interesting aspect of control system. Okay, uh, this transfer function of the dead time is given like uh, this uh, e power minus tau d s. That is x of y equal to x of t minus tau d is uh, tending to e power minus tau d s. So this dead time uh, concept will be used to model most of the higher order systems. Say for example, the screen three, Papa. So don't worry about the attendance. I will give another opportunity to. Uh, in in between in the middle of the class, uh, later Jain Manan will give one more chance to be given. So please back to the class. About forty five forty four students are available. Okay, parang ng class parang ng ano? So this uh, this is the representation. Or is the, this uh, full curve is this fifth order process? What is meaning? Uh, what is meaning of a fifth order process? See, if, uh, in the case of a level system. It is five tanks in series. Numbers. Yeah, attendance number. Did you get it? Just take an attendance. I uh, wish just to make you uh, to join the in class. The class. Uh, at the first, I wish class uh, start title. Join me. I got. I have put up that uh, quiz, and I will connect one more. Uh, put up one more quiz sometime in the class during the class. Okay. So okay, coming to the class. Uh, this. Any higher order system, say for example, if, uh, there is noise interference. Okay, so this fifth order process is shown by a full curve here. You know this first order process and uh, second order. Uh, we will be getting this higher order, no? So where is that higher order? Let me. The attendance line. No, no, no. I am. I don't ask attendance. Okay. Yeah, the attendance only. I will mark absent. That indicates that you are not attending uh, to the class. So 
sorry, and these are, yeah, this curve is needed here. So the response of first, always, what is it? N equal to one refers to first order process. Yeah, by the, Kameshwar marked option, Nandita option, Darshan option, okay. Uh, those who are giving utterance are marked option. That indicates that they are not attentive to the class, simply listening to some chart or something. Please, sir, uh, I just now joined, sir. I didn't know what happened, sir. That's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, please uh, focus sir. on the class. Focus on the class now. Let us worry, uh, think about this utterance at the last moment. Okay. Uh, uh, my screen is visible to you, no? PDF screen, uh, which is showing this uh, response versus time. Nandita, class, uh, Puridama? Ah, oh, yes, sir. Okay. So what we are discussing is, we are discussing about a, a response of a higher order system. Uh, say, for example, in the case of a level system, n equal to 1 refers to the first re response of the first tank. Or is, what is the height of the tank for changes in the inflow to the tank? Uh, the response is nothing but the uh, response, which is, which is the uh, height of the tank. Say, in the case of level system. Say, uh, likewise, uh, for the second tank, it is a second order response. So second order response is having the initial lag. How do you say? Uh, how do you say it is a lag, having a lag? So the initial response is uh, not. Uh, uh, initially, it is not responding. It is responding after about a few time interval. So uh, likewise, uh, if you see the response of the higher order system, say for fifth order system, the response is much delayed. Or is, there is initially you see there is a dead time. Arrays, uh, this higher order system can be considered as a combination of uh, first order plus dead time. Say fifth order response, you can model like uh, this uh, dashed line represents actually uh, this first order curve. Of course, delayed by a time of about see, this initial uh, this initial gap. How to give that one minute? So the initial gap you can consider to be a dead time. So that is equal to the tau d. Uh, so a, a higher order process can be considered as a combination of dead time uh, followed by a first order. Likewise, uh, you can also represent them as a combination of second order and dead time. Uh, the need for using second order and dead time is, suppose the curve is having an oscillatory response. You know, oscillatory response, you, can ma you can't model uh, with a first order system. You know, only with this second order underdamped characteristic, you can represent the oscillations. You know, only in the second order underdamped. Again, I'll show you the second order curve. So in the second order curve, so this underdamped is having oscillations. So always only with second order uh, system, you can show the second order underdamped system, you can show the oscillations. So systems, uh, higher order system, which have oscillations in the response, you can model them as a combination of second order and dead time okay uh, so, if, uh, so otherwise uh, uh, this uh, idea is uh, to be uh, now uh, clearly uh, stated again there is uh, systems which doesn't have any oscillation in the response you can simply model them as a combination of first order plus dead time and system which have oscillation in the output can be modeled as combination of second order plus dead time okay this idea uh, and how to uh, make that approximation. Always this is uh, approximation, always uh, approximating a higher order with first order plus state time or second order plus state time. Always we need not study about the end order dynamics. You can simply consider them as a combination of first order plus state time or second order plus state time. That's why we limit to uh, limit our analysis to second order. See, for example, we have this kind of response. We have, we have this kind of transfer function that is G of S is uh, multiplication of you now this cap capital pi we use it for multiplication you would have used in your uh, the, what is it thermodynamics la padichinga la pa thermodynamics uh, in the case of what is it uh, for uh, this thermo idla uh, padichirpinga uh, what is it chemical reaction equilibrium of multiple uh, reactions in series so for that you would have used this uh, capital pi Otherwise, also don't uh, worry about that. This capital Phi is it, uh, the symbol used for multiplication. Say, for example, here we have a nth order system for which the okay, numerator is the gain and denominator is having time constants of the individual first order system. So the time constant again is a variable, other things are remaining constant. So that thing we can consider to be a combination of first order 
followed by a dead time. So first order system is having k by tau one uh, s plus one, and uh, this dead time system is having e power minus tau ds. So this combination is now used. So there is a, a condition given that always uh, to this tau d can be taken as uh, this summation of the tau i. Uh, say for uh, this tau is the dominant time constant. How do you say uh, which is dominant? So whichever is having a higher time value, time constant value, that is taken as that. Uh, that is a dominant time constant. So that is simply taken here, and the rest of the time constants are simply added up. That is giving you tau d. See, otherwise uh, the original system is this one. Uh, original system is I'll. Uh, so this is your original system. Original system is having k by uh, tau one s yes plus one, tau two s yes plus one, like that. It is going on, and uh, you take uh, you rearrange the system in such a way that uh, this tau one is the higher uh, tau one is the highest value. So tau one is uh, simply written as thing uh, this thing, and tau d is taken as the summation of the rest of the time constants. So in that way, if you make say for example. Of the numeric is given here. Say for example, we have k by. Always, this is a third order system. How do you say it is third order system? Because uh, if you multiply this thing, you will be having s cube term. So always, this is simply easily understandable. These three first order system in series. So phi s, three uh, s. So always phi. Tau one is phi. Tau two is three, and tau three is point phi. So here the dominant and dominant time constant is phi. So you can take that here. The rest of the time constant can simply add up, so they are forming the dead time. So otherwise, this thing can be considered as a first order followed by a dead time. Is it understandable, Pam? Likewise, if you have any second uh, system with oscillations, you treat them as a combination of set second order and dead time. Okay, that we won't discuss much. Uh, of course, this is. Uh, this idea is needed, though it is not listed in the syllabus. Uh, this idea is needed. Then only uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be in a position to appreciate what is the need for this studying this first order and dead time and second order systems. Okay, with this now let us go to the today's interesting aspect: a closed loop system. I will just show you the diagram alone, and we'll go to the uh, one minute. Uh, about uh, 49 students are available. Good. One minute. Sorry, this is not opening. I will open another file. One five one one will be on it. One minute. So, otherwise, we are going to uh, arrive at this kind of uh, loop. Hmm? So don't worry about that. Where I am going to start from in the, the board. I am going. I am closing this user and uh, opening this other user. Any doubt on this aspect so far? We discussed before going to the board. Okay, no problem. Uh, sir. Ah, uh, chalega baam. So where uh, so what is the point of this approximation? So does it uh, does it make um, ah, ah, ah. like uh, See, otherwise, the controller uh, easier something like that? Definitely, because uh, we cannot study the dynamics of nth order system. Instead, uh, uh, this uh, second order plus dead time. No, that is approximating. No, that is enough. Instead, for uh, it's kind of a generalization. No, in, uh, and this will be very useful. Suppose in the case of your distillation column, which is having about say twenty to fifty trays. Uh, instead of uh, making this fifth order, uh, fifth, say twenty twentieth order equation, we can simply treat them as uh, first order and dead time order. Okay, sir. Huh? So uh, it is it will help us help, help us a lot. Understood, yeah. sir. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so slowly we'll uh, understand this. No problem. So I'm closing this. I'm leaving from this thing, and I'll.
now uh, I'm going to write on the board. Before I have to share this one. Yeah. One minute, ready. Share screen. Okay, my screen is visible. Of course, uh, whatever I'm writing, you can also write in your board. And uh, I'm going to draw this liquid level system again. That is, that is called as closed loop system. So again, our uh, old system, what is it? Uh, level system, liquid level system. There is an outflow, which is having a resistance of R, and there is a level in the tank. And uh, so there are two inputs to the tank. One is what is called as FB and another is FI. So there are two inflows and there is uh, one outflow. And uh, here, uh, okay. So there are uh, two inlet flows and one is uh, one outlet flow. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, write the model equation again. Huh? Uh, let's start. F not. F not. Now, under steady state, what is F0? F0 equals to simply Fi plus Fi. Fi refers to inflow and Fd refers to some uh, flow, what is called as uh, disturbance flow. So, you simply take it as Fd now, what is disturbance and all you understand shortly. So, this at steady state, F0 equal to Fi plus Fd. This is clear, no? Yeah, again, we are taking uh, liquid level system and Fi uh, can uh, simply refer to volumetric flow as well. And at uh, under under the dynamic condition, what is uh, F not F not is equal to uh, not only this F five plus F uh, sorry otherwise we'll write this one. We'll write like input minus output. F five plus F is your input uh, minus F not is your output equal to uh, accumulation part A into D gets by D. Whereas under steady state, dh by dt is zero. Sorry. Uh, my... uh, sir, uh, sir, can you make a small suggestion? Sir, you can um, the system mic. You can use the 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 Is it fine, Pa? Yes, sir, it's fine now. Okay, go on. You can disconnect audio for your iPad. Sir. Sir, zoom. 
அந்த Ah, fine. Is it fine, Pa? Now, hello. Yes, sir. Much better, sir. Better. Somewhat better. Okay, fine. So, okay, uh, we are writing this balance equation. F I uh, plus F D both are the input to the tank, and F naught is the output from the uh, tank. So, and we know uh, we used to write this F naught is equal to H by R. That is this outflow line. Uh, flow from the out output depends on. Uh, so outflow depends on the level in the tank and uh, inversely proportional to the resistance. So using that, F I plus F D uh, minus H by R equal to A into D H by D T will uh, again rearrange to the form our standard form like uh, what we used to write this A R into D H by D T plus H hmm, equal to not. Uh, Uh, yeah, equal to F I plus F D. Fine, fine. So this is available now. Uh, yeah, not only that, multiply by R should be there. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, treat like uh, for a general system. No? So uh, how do you say this tau P D H by D T? Uh, uh, this A R is nothing but the tau P equal to F I plus F D into K P. No? R is for a level system. This KP is simply R. In terms of uh, Laplace transform, uh, how do you take Laplace transform? Before uh, taking Laplace transform, we have to uh, make use of this deviation variable under steady state. H is equal to KP into F I at steady state plus F D at steady state. So this one minus two will give you. Or is it? Uh, of course, uh, you can take it like d h s by d t. So always we'll be having tau p uh, s into h of s. Or is what is h? Capital h is equal to small h minus h s p. Okay. And h of s is Laplace transform of that plus one equal to. Or is I'm writing this k p into F I capital I will use, which is indicating F I is actually equal to F I, sorry, capital F I. Capital F I is equal to small F I minus small F I steady state. And at uh, and uh, taking Laplace transform, you'll be having this way, plus F D of S. Okay, this. i am going to rearrange so sorry tau p s plus 1 yeah this way sorry one minute there is in the left hand side la konna chinna correction irukku liya what is it tau this is this would be also h of s otherwise i'll write it again tau p s h of s now how does it come no tau p For d h by d t, it is s into h of s. For h, it is simply h of s. K P into. कोने क्लास निगल कोड एल्डिंग ना बेटर आर कुम्पा. So this is open loop only, no sir. What you are writing now, or this is also. Yeah, still the loop. Loop is still open only. We are now going. Yeah. Today is now uh, half an hour. We will see. Go to the closed loop. Hmm? There is. I am going to the derive the closed loop, starting from here. Okay, I rearrange to the form, convenient form like H of S. Sorry, one minute. Tau P S plus one hmm? into H of S equal to K P. Abhi erko F I S one all up F D. And again, don't confuse this. Uh, this yes, no, in Gregorian yes. So this yes refers to steady state, whereas this yes refers to Laplace transform. So now, I have to use some math to use. So this again, I am going to rearrange. In what way this? Um, yeah, I, I will make it as a diagram here.
gp yes don't worry i am going to explain this thing so this is your f i so we uh, we can rearrange so raise now you're going to h of s equal to f i s g p s g p of s f i of s everywhere this s refers to laplace transform likewise f d of s g d of s so what is uh, then g p and g d you can now say so raise I'll write okay. If uh, say there is another this left hand side. Uh, sorry, I'll use highlighter. This hatcha of uh, this hatcha of s now this hatcha of s equal to this group K P by tau P s is now simply uh, right. That is G P is simply your K P by tau P s plus one. So this is your G P. What is this? This is your GP. Can you follow? Panga. Sorry. I can directly give the equation, but can you derivation? Panna better. I guess this uh, is very important, useful for us. Keep uh, multiply by this again. Uh, again, also we have this KP by tau P S plus one into F D. Whereas G P and G D are uh, both are uh, coming in the same way for uh, now. Uh, Sometimes we may have uh, a different G P and G D. Okay. Whereas uh, see this equation, which is uh, saying about uh, the variation of height for vari any variation in inflow and uh, some disturbance flow. Okay. So whereas for this system. Uh, the level uh, the output variable of importance is h capital h capital h is nothing but h minus h initial steady state how this is connected with inflow and uh, uh, disturbance flow so that is available in terms of simply uh, two groups always h of s there is a output variable of importance the laplace transform of output variable that is equal to gp of s and fi of s plus gd of s into fd of s so this final thing is uh, very very uh, available in terms of very algebraic equation always the original equation is a differential equation in what way it is a differential equation so this is your differential equation representing the uh out, variation of outflow for changes in uh for changes in inflow or uh, disturbance uh, for changes in fi or fd don't uh, uh, worry about this yeah, disturbance at all now for any changes in inflow and uh, for any changes in fi and fd this is the equation but this is now available in terms of a simply uh, algebraic equation okay of course there is a uh, very use of this laplace transform uh now uh, again let us come back to this diagram say in the case of a level system that is we want to keep the level of the system uh, in spite of any changes in the inflow say there are now one of the flow can be adjusted and another flow is not in our control so which of the flow is uh, let us take this fd is not in our control So one of the flow is not in our control, and one of the flow can be adjusted, or what is called as manipulated. Uh, is it understandable? Part there is we have, we are going to measure, uh, set, keep the tank level constant in spite of any changes in inflow to the tank. Of course, one of the flow can be adjusted, and another flow. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there is some noise coming. Okay, which I cannot avoid. Um, 
So there is a feedback, immediate feedback coming <laughs> from my voice. That's right. Mm. Uh, how about voice is okay, wa? Yes, sir. It's okay for us. Oh, okay, okay, then okay. So here, uh, the, our objective is to uh, keep the level constant in spite of any changes in this F I or F D. Here, uh, F D we don't have any control, but F I can be adjusted. So by adjusting one of the flow, we can definitely. Adjust the level. Okay, the, let us uh, take that for granted. So, how do we adjust the uh, inflow? So, you can take a take a measurement. So, take a measurement and uh, compare that with your set point. Say like HSP. Compare that with a set point, and you'll be getting a, a, a that that will be acting on this. Uh, of course, we need to have, I'm sorry, I'm changing the color of this uh, line. Assume we have a signal only entering, not flow. Hmm? There is no fluid flow entering. There is a signal entering. So what is called as a measurement? This is your measurement. This is a comparator. So from uh, this is your level H and this is your measured level HM and we have a error coming out. What is the error? Error is equal to H set point minus H measurement. Okay. So that error signal is going to a controller now. So what sort of controller that and all we'll see in the coming class. So that controller is acting on the inflow. So it can increase or decrease the flow. Let me clear this. I'll move down. Fine. Okay, I'm uh, this line controller. There is a signal coming. And uh, one minute. So there is a control wall. Control wall is a pneumatic control wall. So control wall order uh, opening can be opening or closing can be adjusted from the output from the controller. So what is this is your controller output? Sorry, uh, C C C refers to the controller output. Uh, error, input to the controller is error. Error amount. Error amount is HSP minus H measurement. And output from the controller is C. So this C is acting on the inflow. That is C is acting on the control wall. Thereby, uh, you can increase or decrease the flow. Okay, FI is what is called as now the manipulated variable. I will write now. So FI is manipulated. Uh, FD, we don't have any. Uh, a control FD is some sort of disturbance. We, are, we, we, we don't have any control over that. The FI is manipulated. Manipulated. Hmm? In what way it is manipulated? According to the measurement of level and it is compared with the set point and the input is given to the controller. The error is error input is given to the controller and controller is increasing or decreasing the opening so as to uh, con control the level okay so now let us come back here so arise so this output variable of importance is so this fi is your uh, manipulated variable arise gp into let us take this m m a generic variable uh, and uh, even where this left hand side also will correct Arrays, instead of this level system we want to see a general system for which output variable of importance is y and gp refers to the transfer function of the process and gd refers to the transfer function of the disturbance and sorry and uh, fd refers to a disturbance variable simply take it as d otherwise i'll, I'll write it again this here uh, 
this group now this hs is your output i will write i will use this marker alone here hs is your output which is y and uh, this is your manipulated variable which is m of s and this is a disturbance variable we will take it as d of s okay uh, this group is found to be the same uh, for this level system uh, sometime for a thermometer system gp and gd may not be equal okay so now we have how much time left there will be yeah another about 15 minutes it will be in a portion to finish the derivation so always the output variable of importance is equal to uh, always everything in terms of laplace transform only in the laplace transform we will be having a algebraic equation always it is a differential equation so y of s equal to gp of s into m of s always this is manipulated and this is a disturbance variable fine hmm? now uh, let us go to the block diagram representation of the system so already we have a block diagram representation so let us draw it again i am going to draw a block diagram starting from uh, we'll utilize this entire width of this uh, diagram uh, width of the uh, page huh? so now i need some more space i'll clear this gd gp here we have d of s we have m of s entered is it okay now understandable y of s is the output variable of importance that is we have simply represented this equation already we have this no the same thing this y of s is output uh, yeah everywhere we had plus one so y of s is output this is uh, having Uh, one uh, this is your manipulated variable this is your disturbance variable the same thing is represented here in a different form okay now uh, how how is this ms coming ms is manipulated variable ms is having or uh, is it is uh, coming from lot of uh, things let me prior to the ms we have this cs cs is the controller output one minute i will draw this diagram i will complete this diagram and i will explain what is it this is yeah in gc uh, even before to gc one minute i will even i will uh, correct this here itself this color a yeah, final control element we'll have sorry i need to so what is gf gf refers gf is a final control element say it is a control wall so what is colors y s p gm so what is this is the error error here is y sp minus y measurement at this point we have this and here we have a controller output and uh, it is a manipulator output okay so okay is it understandable now let us see one minute say so there is a correction here small correction please those who have drawn this please correct this diagram plus plus and this is taken at this point say so we have a, we take the measurement measurement where is it so there is a measurement of level so level measurement and h and hm need, uh, need not be the same there may be a, uh, again you know about the measurement lag as well say in the case of a thermometer thermometer is not immediately responding as like that any measurement is also having its own lag otherwise it won't it, its own transfer function so to represent that only we have this gm 
Service for simplicity can also take this GM to be equal to one also. But for general case, let us take this GM equal to uh, some number. So what is this? Uh, this is your YM. So Y of M is equal to G of M into Y of S. How to arrange? Uh, what is the meaning of this? Arrange uh, the output variable of importance is for, for the measurement uh, tool. Output variable is Y M, which is Y M of S. Okay. M of S by Y of S equal to G M of Again, GM of S we should have, but for simplicity, let us take this as GM. GM refers to the transfer function of the measurement. Can can you say the what is the transfer function of uh, this Lapla thermometer uh, measurement? Thermometer is having a first order system. No, thermometer is a first order system. So for which GM is equal to Kp by tau P s plus one. Likewise, suppose you have a Um, manometer for the measure to measure the level or to measure the pressure. What sort of uh, transfer function will it have? A yeah, second order is occur. No, what is it? Kp by tau square s square plus two uh, tau zeta s plus one. That way you will be having a, a transfer uh, measurement uh, transfer function. Okay, okay. These are all uh, just to give an idea about the, what is GM. So we have. That is, we are taking the measurement of level, uh, measurement of the process variable that is coming as O M S, and we want uh, that should be equal to O S P. That is, uh, we have a uh, we are checking this whether uh, how much it is deviating from the set point, and the error amount is going to the controller. This error amount is going to the controller. So let us not worry about what sort of controller it is. You simply take that uh, according to the error amount, it is in, it is giving a output which is C of S. So there are a variety of controller that we are going to see in the coming class. So this C of S is equal to multiplication of E of S multiplied by G C of S. Likewise, G F. What is G F here? Uh, G F is the final control element. So controller is giving the output of C, uh, C, but it is working on this uh, control valve, and uh, we can relate this C and F I. Always how in proportion uh, uh, according to the percentage of opening, the valve flow uh, valve, valve uh, flow rate will be increasing or decreasing. So always this control valve also has a dynamics. Okay, that's the meaning of this G F. G F refers to the final control element. I'll write it here better. Another about two minutes, Abba. How much time is there? How much time? Another about five minutes we have. Final control element, and uh, most of the time the final control element is yeah, simply a control valve, pneumatic control valve, pneumatically operated control valve, and this is this is a controller. Okay, now. uh we should come to the equation again no are you able to understand this uh flow diagram and block diagram so what is gp again uh gp is the process transfer function so in the case of a level system what is gp it is simply kp by tau ps so the original tra transfer function transfer function and likewise gd also have a, can have a transfer function always The both the inflow and disturbance need not affect in the same way, way. Of course, in this case of level system, it will have the same kind of response. For us, in the case of uh, whereas in the case of uh, heated system, say inflow may be a fluid flow and a disturbance may be uh, some sort of another heater input. Okay, so uh, for some for general for general case, let us take this. Uh, GP and GD do be different. It may be equal as well, but uh, for a general uh, case, we are taking that in a different way. Okay. Uh, now, are you able to understand uh, how this flow diagram and block diagram are connected? I, uh, better, I will take this diagram also here so that. We'll uh, have it closer. and i'll okay what is that 
guest is not coming in. Instead of moving it, it's not move one minute. Get this paste not not working. Okay, sometime my uh, okay. Uh, no, no, it's not uh, easily um, coming for me now. Hello, how is it? Fine. Uh, latest cut diagram should be available here. Huh? Mm -hmm. So okay, ma. Uh, let us not worry much about this. Sorry, I'm not here. So you can try it again. What is that? No problem. So level system is there. There is a measurement, and there is a controller, and to the controller there is a set point. So that is acting on the control wall. Okay, the diagram is all over live. There is con control wall, there is an inflow and there is a disturbance. Okay, a rough idea is given here. So there is a uh, flow coming. Flow, this is flow is, this flow is actually uh, EF naught, okay, which is having a resistance. Okay, in the level system, uh, we have this uh, diagram here. So always Y of S is the output variable of importance, uh, which is having, uh, or is it is uh, uh, connected with the manipulated and disturbance variable by this way. So manipulated variable is uh, adjusted by the other feedback loop, whereas disturbance are such entering. And how does it is a feedback loop? Or is we are taking a measurement of the level, say of the process variable, and this process uh, there is a transfer function of the measurement, and this measured value is compared with the set point value and the yeah, difference between the set point, which is the error. This error amount is given to the controller and controller is giving the output, which is C of S, which is working on the final control element and final control element is from the final variable. Or is the manipulated variable is adjusted because of the measurement and uh, the, uh, and the measurement is acting on the uh, measurement is given to the controller and controller is giving you the manipulated variable. Okay. Uh, guys, I will directly show you the equation alone because the derivation again will take some more time. Uh, that derivation will complete in the tomorrow's class, uh, coming class. Uh, I will go to the my uh, system. Okay, we have this uh, set point. You know, PDF screen is visible, right? PDF screen should be visible. Yes, now. sir. Right. Uh, audio, sorry, Yeah, fine. Everything is fine. See, uh, uh, yeah, the derivation is slightly involved, and uh, it will take some more, some time. Or another, nothing great here, and uh, I don't have the derivation correctly now. Currently now, uh, if you. Uh, Otherwise, we'll be getting this kind of group. Otherwise, O of uh, S equal to set, P, uh, set point and disturbance. With the derivation, we'll uh, try to make in the coming class because another about three minutes only left, and uh, I, I, mean, not, I don't want to disturb you people. One minute class, Lava. Next class is by one o'clock only, no? Next class is by one o'clock, no? Maybe I can finish that as well. Or a show wait pending a maximum, maximum ten minutes. At least eleven ten, uh, sorry, twelve ten. I should be done with. At least uh, the murching. Sir, sir. No, sir. Sir, no, sir, right. <laughs> then uh, okay, at least. <laughs> fine, pa, fine, pa. Thanks. Uh, yeah, at least to recollect again. Uh, what we said, uh, our original system is GP uh, multiplied by DFS and sorry, GD multiplied by DFS and GP multiplied by yeah, manipulated variable. So uh, how this is manipulated because of the measurement and uh, controller combinations. 
So uh, this uh, we can write in terms of set point value and disturbance value. Okay, the overall equation is available here. And uh, tomorrow in the coming class, we'll uh, make the uh, complete the derivation. Okay, with this uh, we'll uh, end the class.